from now on, you're about to seamlessly integrate lasers into every show you design. We are looking at the Skyrider HPX M2 from X Laser. Looking at the Skyrider, we can see a lot is going on on the back end. Power con in and out with a rocker switch handles power. Several data in and outs give you your choice of networking. And what X Laser calls the Mercury interface is front and center with a few different indicator lights. Mercury refers to the onboard firmware that allows the laser to be controlled through a lighting console. The idea is that you can control the laser exactly like a moving light. The first step is getting powered up and connected safely. A key on the back of the projector provides a physical means of controlling if the laser can output. Addressing the laser is just like any moving light you have handled before. Navigate the menu to select your source of data and the control mode you want to use. Patching is also straightforward. Mercury profiles are already in most major lighting console libraries. First, you'll patch a Mercury master. Address this to what you set your laser projector to. Next, patch builders. Set the first builder's address to follow the Mercury master and patch as many as you indicated on the laser projector. You'll see the master and all the builders you included as individual fixtures in your patch. When the laser projector is talking smoothly with the lighting console, status indicates ready at the top. Laser status at the bottom indicates what needs fixing to get lasering. When you see ready and enabled, you're ready to go. First thing is first is the master. Make sure your intensity is set to 100 and parked or frozen and park your control channel with Builders Active selected. Now we're diving into the exciting part, Builders. Think of Builders as various layers of output that you use to craft your laser looks. They function similarly to how moving lights operate. You control the intensity to manage output and use color mixing to shift hues. Each laser projector equipped with mercury boasts a collection of over 400 patterns, also known as gobos. For those familiar with media servers, the organization of these gobos or patterns will be quite recognizable. To use them, start by selecting a categorized folder. Once you've chosen a folder, you can select your target pattern. You can scale, skew, and rotate your pattern using various builder attributes to nail your look. Pan and tilt even allows you to move the pattern around. Since these parameters behave just like moving lights, you can even program effects. Slapping a canned circle effect on your pattern suddenly brings the look to life. Mercury already has many effects built into its profile. Dual color effects, prism emulators, wave modulators, and more. The sky is the limit on what you can create only using your lighting console. Mercury supports up to eight builders, and each builder is entirely independent from one another. You can program different presets for each or store them together, whatever aligns with your pre-existing programming. Zoning is a crucial step in setting up your laser show. Within the builders of the Mercury system, you'll find a range of folders. If you navigate to the bottom of this list, you'll discover a folder containing test patterns. Selecting one of these optimized test patterns will project a grid pattern. With this test pattern active, go back to your master control. Here, in the beam menu, you can adjust any zoning changes as needed. After setting your zones, make sure to park or freeze these settings. This action ensures that your animations will always stay within the designated safe zones, eliminating the risk of them projecting outside these boundaries. Remember that this is just the surface of what Mercury can do. For those eager to dive deeper, the folks at Xlaser have put together many resources and tutorials to enhance your skills. And check out our full write-up detailing even more of what we love, hate, and everything in between.